Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocks Fanatic 17. I'm coming to you with a just a, a video of just you know kind of a recap of the past few days here. Uh, I'm gonna say since I've got all this stuff since Thursday, so um, I got let's see one, two, three, four, five, six TTMs, um, mail day from Tops, um, an eBay pickup, and a recap of some pack breaks. <clears throat> um, I'll start off with the eBay win, the eBay auction win. Uh, I got this really cheap for like five dollars. It's an Andre Scalaraga autograph baseball with a certificate of authenticity down here. So that was pretty cool. I uh, add that to my Rockies baseball collection, uh, which I'm still trying to grow. So if anybody has any of these baseballs, any any Rocky signed baseball, please let me know. Um, that'd be really cool. So appreciate that. Um, next, I'll go over my packs. I bought um, a box, a, like a blaster box of tops, 2012 baseball, and a Bowman, two Bowman platinums. Uh, there now. Five dollars at at least my Walmart, and I bought two of them. So out of that, and the highlights is a green Austin Jackson, a Tyler Skaggs refractor, X fractor, I guess, a Blake Smith X fractor, and a Dicky Joe Thon autograph, not numbered. But that was still cool. I was surprised to get this. So I guess I'll have to, I'll probably go back and pick some more of those up. So that wasn't bad for, for two packs. I mean, I think these three, like, and they come in, like, packages. I know you guys know of three packs. And, like, all this was in one of those. And then this was in another one. So that was really cool. So not bad. And then the tops, um, I got one of those, uh, like I said, blaster boxes, and I got this, a Roger Maris bat card. Awesome. Uh, all these are for trade right here. Um, I'd kind of like to sell this one, but I really don't know how much it's worth, but I'll... I enter trade trades for any of them. Just if you want to make me an offer, feel free to. I'll entertain. But I was I couldn't believe I got this. this I've never gotten anything like this out of Tops until recently, so that was cool. Um, I'll go do my TTMs next. Um, <clears throat> this first one here is coming from. Phoenix, Arizona. Most of these are coming from Phoenix. They're mostly spring training. And it's a 4 of 4 return from Luis Gonzalez. He signed 1, 2, 3, 4, all in blue Sharpie. So that was a nice return. I sent that to um, just the Diamondbacks regular stadium. So nice to get that back. <clears throat> Next one I got, again coming from Phoenix, Arizona, a one of one return from Kyle Blanks, so that was cool, um, saw a bunch of other people getting him back, so glad to get that one, add that to my collection. <clears throat> Next one again from Phoenix, Arizona is a one of one return from Todd Frazier of the Reds. Um, this is a he's a I I think he's a big prospect. He's probably one of the best the Reds have and arguably one of the best in the majors. I mean so I'd expect I I think the Reds are expecting him to do real good. So happy to get this one back. These right here, um, these two by the way I forgot to tell you um, this is a nine day this is a seven day, and this Luis Gonzalez is a seven day. So that was cool. 
Next return. Um, that's kind of smudged out, but it's Spokane, Washington. It's hard to see, but... <clears throat> and this return is from T.R. Bryden. I was actually surprised to get this one back. Um, I know he signs real well. Um, <clears throat> but the reason I was surprised to get back so fast, most people that I had seen had been waiting a month or so, and uh, this only took like four days. So, nice return from Mr. Bryden. So, thank you, thank you, sir, for that. <clears throat> this next one is, again, coming from Phoenix, Arizona. It is a one of two return from Alan Trammell. Uh, this was awesome. This took ten days. Um, not disappointed at all. Like the way that turned out. Didn't sign my 89 tops, which is actually what I was kind of hoping he would sign. But, you know what, that's cool. I'm more than happy to get the 88 Donruss back. I have no complaints there at all. Nice looking signature. So, I might send to him again. I, I don't know. I was happy with this return. So, <clears throat> in this last TTM for this video, oh, it's upside down. Uh, doesn't have anything at all. Um, it's stamped there, Fort Myers, Florida. So... And it is a two of two return from Ross Allendorf. Signed his rookie card here, his uh, 08 Upper Deck rookie card. That actually turned out really nice. So this one, um, an opening day, 2008, um, Ross Allendorf. Unfortunately, this one got damaged in the mail. Um, so, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, still more than happy to add any autographs to my collection, so that was cool. And we're almost done here, guys. I apologize for this long, this long video. The last thing that I got, I got today, and it's from the Tops Company in from Newcastle, Delaware. Um, I got did the diamond giveaway. And uh, I, actually, I had a lot more cards than just three, but shipping, if I would have, like, turned in all mine, would have been 10 or $12, and I had all the other cards. These are the ones I didn't have, so I figured I'd pick them up. Um, this first one is a 65 Tops uh, Lindy McDaniel. So... <clears throat> nice pickup. Unfortunately, this one is really, really uh, beat up. It came in in pretty bad condition. I mean, corners are bent. There's a big crease right here. So, I mean, you can see the corner there. And I don't know, should I, I, I don't really know the stipulations on these giveaways. Should I contact the Tops company or... Are they just, I mean, do you run the risk of getting this? I don't know. If you guys know anything, just comment and let me know. Really, I would appreciate it. But still, that was cool. Uh, I like the 65 top set. They're really nice. So, that was that was awesome. Uh, the next one is a 69 tops, and it's Fritz Peterson. Uh, this one is in a lot better shape. I like these 69 tops. Maybe if Mr. Peterson signs, um, I'll send this off to get, you know, for a TTM. But this one's in a lot better condition. I mean, there's a few, you know, dings and scratches as to be expected. But other than that, it's a good card. It's centered really well for 69 tops. So I, you know, like I said, nice, always nice to get vintage vintage basin so that was cool so happy with that one and all told I have one more which is awesome all told I have um, it was three cards and it cost like three dollars or two ninety eight or something to get shipped and this last one was freaking awesome it was actually the first one I unlocked um, and I got a bunch of trade offers for it and I never ever took one I took an offer or entertained one it is a K 
Cal Ripken Jr. Diamond Die Cut. Like I said, when I got this from the minute that I redeemed it on the website there, I was getting all kinds of trade offers, and they were really, for the most part, crappy. So I figured I'd keep this. Um, this is in awesome shape. Um, it is the covering on it is creased here but the card itself is in perfect perfect condition like I said that's just the the cover of the uh, card so that is awesome I don't know I looked on eBay and Mr. Ripken's die cut um, kinda of varies in price goes anywhere from forty to seventy dollars I don't know if that's people just overcharging or what but uh, if you're interested in this, uh, just make me an offer. And like I said, I will be more than happy to entertain. So, yeah. Well, thanks thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this pretty long video. I'm sorry about that. But a uh, good day for, you know, the community and uh, the TTM and baseball card collecting community so thanks a lot guys really appreciate it uh, hope you have a good one and I will see you guys later